Anyway, folks, Brother Leslie Wiles here, King James Bible Baptist, Mid America Online. Yes, it is Sunday, what we call Palm Sunday, the one week exactly from Resurrection Sunday, which will be next Sunday. Hi, everybody. It's been a little bit since I've, I've done, done any sermons online. I, of course, was a YouTube channel. Of course, I've got a new secular job, which is helping me pay my bills. Praise God. And also, you know, I was going to talk to you about something. I mean, we, you know, both the churches you go to, they're going to talk about, you know, the Lord's triumphal entry into into Jerusalem. They're throwing the palms down. And Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed he that comes in the name of the Lord. And that's a beautiful thing. And I thought about doing that, and it's like, you know what? We need to talk about something. Some of you folks have been watching them Joel Osteens and them prosperity preachers. Some of y'all are hurting in a major way financially in other ways. You're not trusting the Lord Jesus Christ. You're looking for another way by which you can make money. And these false teachers and these people, these are, they're devils as far as I'm concerned. They don't show people how to get saved. They show, they tell people by donating to them somehow God will bless them and, and which it is nonsense. Jesus Christ is not a cosmic slot machine, okay? He is Lord. He is God. He's the provider of all things. And I'm going to show you where the word of God, where Jesus Christ himself says, how he takes care of us. And, you know, Jesus, I go and prepare a place for you. If you're a born-again Christian, let me tell you something. Very soon we're going to go home and you have housing in heaven. Free housing, there's no rent, no rent. Everything is free in all abundance for eternity. Let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus Christ came to, to free us, free us from the curse of the law by cause he was the sacrificial lamb. He was the only one, praise God, the only one qualified to pay for the sin debts of mankind. And all you have to do while we're still here on earth is to trust the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't know Jesus, you can get saved right now. Leave on him. Tribulation's coming pretty soon. The Lord will come for his church. Yes, he will. Some of you Christians like, oh, I don't believe that rapture business. Oh, he will. <laughs> you trust Jesus Christ. You're going to, one second, you're going to be somewhere. Next minute, you're going to be looking at him right square in the eye. You're going to say, who are you? I'm Lord Jesus. Haven't you not been waiting for me? Uh, well, I, I, I was watching Oprah, and, you know, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> anyway. I'm going to tell you what the Lord has to say about this, and let me tell you something. Some of you folks, some of you folks are at your wit's end right now. Will the Lord provide for me? Banks are closing. Things are happening. This world is upside down. Well, you know, the Bible talks about we need to occupy till he gets here. And we need to understand, okay, that the Lord will provide for us. I'm going to read you something phenomenal, straight from the Word, the living Word, the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? Before I start this, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this time of online Bible study and fellowship. You know, it's anointed to teach His Word, Lord. And I said, one hears it in Jesus' name. Amen. It is found in uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter 12. Verses 22. Now, you know, I, I'm i guilty of worrying about stuff. Oh, is it going to happen? Because, you know, when you worry, when the Lord says, don't worry, and you end up worrying, am I going to give them? Am I going to eat tomorrow? Am I... When you worry about that, you're telling them, well, you know, I got faith, but I'm still worried. I, may not, I don't have enough faith. When the Lord says something, and we like, mm -hmm, and we wait and wait and wait on him to answer, mm hmm. I was about to paraphrase, talk about it. That sometimes we think that God is just slow, but he's not slow. He's not slack. He's long-suffering, okay? What does that mean? It means he's waiting and patiently waiting for as many folks as possible to hear the gospel and to come to the Lord to repent, which means change their mind, not works. Change your mind. Get to the cross. He's waiting on the Yes, there will be folks, I promise you, there going to be people who are going to reject that gospel. And they go, 
But I'm talking about you folks. You go into these, you go into these uh, Pentecostal charismatic hucksters. Talk a mean game, but they're not scriptural. And you worrying about, are you going to eat tomorrow? Hear ye the word of the Lord. The King James authorized version. Luke 12, verse 22. And he said unto his disciples, this is the Lord Jesus Christ speaking. Therefore, wherefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat. Neither for the body what ye shall put on. The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn. And God feedeth him. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you, with taking thought, can add to his stature one cubit? What does that mean, preacher? Well, by worrying about stuff, how's it going to improve your situation? If you're in a situation that you can't, you have no control over, <laughs> worrying about it just adds to it. It's like you've already got a load, you're pulling uphill. <laughs> and you're taking on more weight. What is that weight, that extra weight? That's doubt. That's doubt. That's lack of faith and that's sin. Well, preacher, I don't know how to get any more faith. I don't know how. Ask him to give it to you. He will give you. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Well, what do you need to seek for? Lord, give me those things that will make me a better Christian. Help me to love. Help me to forgive. Lord, help me, help me to do the right thing as a Christian. Because, you know, he does the changing when you invite Jesus Christ in. He does the changing. You just have to let him. Amen. Go on. When it says, consider the ravens, but then you sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn. And God feedeth him. How much more are you better than the fowl? How much more are we better? The Lord will provide if you just have faith. Now, you know, we're thinking to ourselves, oh, I'd sure like to. Lord, buy me a Mercedes Benz. Because this Chevrolet ain't cutting it. Well, he might look at you and say, well, tough apples, you're getting a Chevy or nothing. You're getting wheels, transportation, and so forth. But the fact is this, that people are looking for something quick. They look, they're looking for their physical needs. They're looking for themselves. Instead of looking towards the Lord. Don't understand it because these preachers are telling them, oh, it's not a hell, it's just time out. And you're a good person. It's you, you, you. The Bible says we're to deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. These teachers, these, these, these prosperity hucksters, are sending countless numbers of people to hell who think that they're Christians. I guarantee if you went, if I went to a Joel Osteen show, I guarantee you less than 10% of those people brought their Bibles with them. And how many of them would just so happen to be King James? <laughs> who knows how, what percentages that would be. There is no open Bibles. There is no Bible being taught in these churches. You bunch of yahoos running around twisting the word of God. And using people and, and, and elderly people who are on social security. Promising them stuff that's not biblical. Let's go on. Verse number 26. If ye then be not able to do that which is least. Why take ye thought for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arraigned like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is to this day in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe, ye, clothe you, O ye of little? O ye of little faith. Where is your faith at? Times are good. When times are good, do you thank the Lord? Or is it when you're up against the wall and everybody else has turned from you? You know, there's two things you can do, friend. 
There's two things you can do. You can either run from God, away from him, or you can run to God. You know, I, I don't know what troubles you're going through. We all, we all have troubles. Some of us have some serious troubles. And more often than not, instead of running to the Lord, we run away from the Lord and get into all sorts of trouble. Because you know, friend, the further you and I get away from our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, the more we sin. The more we stay away from his word, the more we sin. And the more problems we cause. You know, there's a lot of distraction in this world. A lot of things that would cause us to fall. There's the sexual variety, all sorts of sins. Satan is working overtime to keep you and I distracted from what's going on. Keep us distracted from winning souls. From getting out there and letting folks know, hey, time is short. We're looking at World War III on three fronts. Russia, China, and in North Korea, too. Seriously. Like it's never been before. And because of what's going on now politically, and I don't want to get political, but it affects us. Christians, it affects us. Now, we need to be about his work. But we're so busy. You know, pretty soon, Christians, I don't set dates, but I really believe that we don't have. I don't think we're going to be here in a year and a half or a year. Now, I'm not setting dates. I'm just looking at what's going on. Now, quick things happen in this world. If you ain't saved, you better get saved. It was coming upon this world is hell on earth. Jesus said, like just as in the days of Noah. Believe me, it was horrendous. God had to completely destroy the earth, wipe it out, because of all the corruption that was going on. Let's continue. Verse number 29, and seek ye, and seek not ye what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. Hello. He knows. Amen. 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 Let's go on. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God. And all these things will be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. No friends, we we gotta pay our bills. Yeah, we you know people say, oh, money is the root of all evil. No, the love of money is the root of all evil. You know the Lord will provide for you if you trust Him. Okay, we are coming upon a time right now that has not never been in the history of the world. I mean, we're we're talking uncertainty and restlessness. And, you know, it's like a like a powder keg fixing to go off. And, you know, as born-again believers, we need to be excited because the Lord could come at any time because of what's going on in the world. And you, lost person, you might be mocking, you might be scoffing at me, you might be, ah, where is he at, where is he at? Believe me, if he even came for the church in seven years of tribulation, you don't want to be through that. You don't want to, you don't want to be here. Me and a bunch of other preachers doing the same thing, trying to warn folks to turn to Jesus. Salvation. What is salvation? That's eternal life. It's free. God paid for it. You can't earn it. You want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. As soon as you trust Jesus Christ, instantly you have your salvation. You don't earn it. It's yours. It's a gift. The Bible says, by grace we are saved through faith. It's not of ourselves, but it's a gift of God. Not of work should any man boast. So it's a gift of God. And what happens after you get saved, preacher? Well, I'll tell you what happens. Holy Ghost seals you until the day of redemption. The Spirit of God dwells within you the minute you receive Jesus Christ. Okay. And then he does the cleaning. You 
trust him, you study his word, seek the Lord with prayer, draw closer to him and you'll grow spiritually. Now more than ever, we have Christians who won't pick up their Bibles. Now more than ever, we have Christians listening to all sorts of heresies and, and creating their own Jesus. How many Christians have got an idea that Jesus Christ is just somebody who would never get mad? Who would never throw anybody into hell? Oh, they they can't be a hell. Jesus loves everybody. He just talked about hell. That's a real place. Why would God become a man, allow his own creation to brutalize him, and nail him to a cross? Because hell is a real place. And the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. He was the perfect sacrifice. He, God became man, John 1. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. It goes on to say that he created everything. And then it said the Word became flesh, dwelt among us. That's right. That's right. Friends, I'm here to tell you, we don't have much longer. If you're a Christian, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're a Christian, you need to draw closer to the Lord. If you're somebody right now who don't know Jesus, you're under the gun, you need to run to him, not from him. If you're having problems right now in a relationship, maybe your marriage is falling apart. Don't run from the Lord, run to the Lord. Run to him. His arms are open. He loves you. He loves you. He's willing to forgive you. All he has to do is come. He's got his arms open. Hello? It's up to you what you do, but don't take it's too long. Because there's going to come a time when there's going to be no more. And just like the ark, when Noah's ark, the rain started to come, and the Bible said that God shut the door. There's going to come a time, friends, where God's going to shut the door. So when there won't be but grace through faith. And in an instant, the Lord will call. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 says, For the Lord shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God. Goes on to say, The dead in Christ shall rise first, and the rest of us will be caught up with him. In an instant, we will be changed, the Bible says. Because tribulation, the life of the witch, has never been seen before. It's coming. We're on the threshold of it. Think about what's going on. It's not conspiracy theory. It's not. The fact that a lot of people, a lot of quote-unquote Christians are asleep. Watching TV, they're asleep. They're not in tune with what's going on in the Bible. You go to the churches where they don't hear the Word of God, where they don't get an education in the Word. Friends, here to tell you, time is short. Folks, I love you and the Lord. This is Brother Leslie Wiles, King James Bible Baptist, Mid-America Online. Folks, I want to let you know I care for you and love you and the Lord, and I want to see everybody saved. If you're a Christian, I would sure love to see you out there doing what you can. If you're a Christian and, and, and you haven't done anything for the Lord, just go to the Lord and pray. Lord Jesus, Father, in Jesus' name, I don't know what to do. I want to serve you, but I don't know how. Open the door for me, Lord. Lord, I want to have a passion for souls. I'd really like to win people to Jesus. But I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Take away my fear. Give me a fearlessness. And also help me to learn your word so I can properly, properly present the gospel to the lost. It's Brother Leslie Wiles. Until next Sunday, may the Lord richly bless you all. And remember, beloved, keep looking up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Love you in the Lord now.